Hola, como estas? Today's video is going to be a little bit different. And that's because I want to talk about how to actually learn Spanish in today's lesson. Now, today's video is going to be really relaxed. It's a rainy day outside, I'm sitting by the fire all day, and I kind of just wanted this to be a casual conversation between you and I about how to actually learn Spanish. Now, there's lots of videos out there telling you about all these different apps and courses and programs um, and all these different ways that we can learn Spanish. Um, but I want to kind of go a less traditional way of thinking about this. Um, and I've talked about this before on my channel and my other channel, my new channel, Spanish with Nate. And that is the idea of actually learning Spanish. To actually learn Spanish, you just need to have fun. You have to relax and, and take it slow. Um, it's so common that I have students come to me and they say, Nate, I'm doing, you know, 12 different programs. I've got all these different apps. Why am I not learning Spanish? I feel like I'm not progressing. The reality is when we get so caught up in all these different methods, all of these different strategies and tips and secrets and tactics, we just end up getting kind of overwhelmed and we spread ourselves too thin. Now, I'd like you to understand that when I first started learning Spanish seven years ago, I didn't even really have this goal of becoming a fluent Spanish speaker. It was simply something that I enjoyed and I figured, well, if I have to take four years of this in high school, I might as well actually try because you know I'm gonna be here for four years. And so, I just want to remind you that, hey, learning Spanish is supposed to be fun. It's a process. Go slow, okay? I feel like so often I see online in the language learning space that a lot of times it becomes this big competition. Like, you need to be learning this fast or, oh, you need to be using this software or what have you. And a big thing behind kind of my methodology and my thought process is you need to before you jump into any grammar lessons or whatever, you need to kind of have this mindset of, hey, I'm just here to have fun and to, you know, achieve the goal of connecting with other people, right? You know, because when we want to learn another language, maybe we want to learn it to go traveling or for business, but at the end of the day, language allows us to connect with other humans on a deeper level, okay? So don't forget that because at the end of the day, if you're just stressing out about, Oh, I need to learn Spanish in, in two, two weeks and I need to, you know, learn super fast, whatever. You know, you're just going to stress yourself out and you're just going to burn yourself out, okay? So, just take it slow, relax, have fun, okay? Because that is how you actually learn Spanish. Now, uh, with regards to a more maybe technical side of things, um, I always tell students, you know, you need to um, be learning some form of grammar, whether that's through a course or a textbook. Um, don't get me wrong, this is not the most fun aspect of learning the Spanish language, however, it's really going to help you the more advanced you get. Okay, now, I will say, if, you know, you're not interested in grammar um, and you just kind of want to wing it and go for it, um, you can do that with less structure just by immersing yourself in the language and kind of learning as you go. I know there's plenty of people who do this and who have done this. Um, of course, I learned in a tr more traditional method because I learned in the classroom. Um, but I think by having a good grammatical foundation, um, you can really um, save yourself a lot of time in the future. Um, now, back on the subject of having fun and just keeping it relaxed, don't overwhelm yourself with too many apps. Try to keep it to two to three max. Um, Find some grammar structure, like I said, course or textbook, and really immerse yourself, make Spanish a part of your everyday life through, as you hear me say a lot, through music, my favorite, movies, shows, podcasts, other human beings. You could put post-it notes all around your house, labeling things. There's a whole lot of things you can do and you can get creative, okay? But it's important to integrate it into your life. Um, it's funny because I've seriously been talking to myself in Spanish since I first started learning Spanish. No, I'm not crazy. Maybe just a little bit. But it's this idea that by incorporating it into your everyday life, you know, it, it, Spanish becomes kind of a, a part of your identity um, and it's, it just kind of becomes a second nature thing. Um, it's actually interesting because when I think of my life and where I'm at currently, 
I can't even imagine my life without Spanish being a part of it. It is such an integral part now of who I am. Um, and you want to do the same. Um, obviously, you don't have to do it on the scale that I'm at, but at a much you know, you know, smaller scale of just having Spanish be a part of your everyday life. Okay, so that's what I would say is just remember, if you want to actually learn Spanish, relax, have fun, make it enjoyable, you know, get some grammar in there, speak with people as much as possible, listen as much as possible. You know, imagine you're like a baby, right? You, you know, let's say you're, instead of you being born in Tennessee or wherever the heck you were born, now you're born in Mexico and you're a little, little baby. And so how do children learn languages, right? They're immersed in that environment. They're constantly hearing it, right? We don't speak our language for a few years, first few years of our life, right? So a lot of it's going to be that audio input, then eventually just, you know, trying to put things into words, trying to form sentences, making lots of mistakes. Um, but along the way, just having a good time. Okay, that's that's kind of my biggest piece of advice. Well, I know this wasn't a super traditional video, but I thought, you know, I'm always making these silly Omegle videos and, and surprising people with my Spanish. And while it is fun, I also want to remind you that it took me a long time to get here. So be patient, relax, enjoy the journey. And remember, I always tell students this, consistency, not intensity, creates your success. Okay, consistency, not intensity, creates your success. Don't burn yourself out for don't burn yourself out. Relax. Have fun. And um, yeah, that's how you actually learn Spanish. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't. It helps me out a lot. You can also check out my website, SpanishForNate.com, where I have my Fluent Spanish Speaker Academy, where I teach you how to learn fluent Spanish. And uh, also, I have my um, playlist of music in Spanish that you can check out. I'll try to put a link to that in the video description, or you can just look me up on Spotify. You just look up Nate's Adventures. You'll find me on there. Bueno, muchas gracias y que tengas muy buen día. Saludos y adiós. Thank you.